Hey, Fragrance Community. Uh, Rise Frags 34. Another quick review for you. This is Italian Leather by Memo or Mimo. Uh, this one is um, in Eau de Parfum concentration. It was brought to us in 2013, and the perfumer behind this is Eleanor Massanet. Hopefully, I said that right. Um, you know how much I love presentations, so I like to show you real quick. But um, your box is excellent, it is leather. So it'll sit like that, which is a nice, nice presentation. A very heavy box, has the M for Memo, Memo Paris, and uh, the base is really nice as well. Um, so your bottle will sit right in there, and it does stay snug in the box as well if you want to, you know, store it. Um, there's your bottle, very nice heavy bottle, uh, easy to hold on to as well. Um, you also have a nice sprayer. Good dis distribution um, and then this is an actual plate that is on the bottle um, it's not just like a sticker or anything so very well done I like the presentation cap very heavy stays on really nice um, there's your M for memo and that'll sit on there very nice and snug so there's your presentation um, now quick description of this one how I would describe this is you are walking down an Italian road, like a nice little, I guess like a nice dirt road with some cobblestone. Um, you have tomato fields to the left, and you have tomato fields to the right. Uh, now this is where it'll be like the most green in the fragrance in the opening. Now you are getting close to town, um, but you know there's still the fields of tomatoes. You know they're still surrounding you, of course, on on both sides. Um, there's a couple shops coming up. Um, you know, as you're getting closer into the town, um, it's like a morning time, very nice, like a nice cool morning. Uh, you come across um, like a big leather leather shop. The doors are open; they just opened. You know, you got fresh leather. The smell of that coming out. Um, you're um, just next door to that one uh, is is like a bakery. And, and you can smell like the, you know, the fresh vanilla wafers, um, you know, fresh, you know, cookies, whatever they're making there. A lot of nice sweetness coming out of there, um, you know, from the, um, from the vanilla. And, uh, and that's kind of where you're, you're kind of in like the middle of the fragrance and towards the end. Um, now, keep in mind, out front, there, you know, there's a man. I'm trying to think of a, another scenario here, too. Like, you, if you'd see a, like a, a guy, like a gentleman sitting there. Um, you know, drinking like some tea and smoking a cigar. Now you got to keep in mind, it's uh, it's very breezy outside, so you're only going to get a little like hint of the smoke coming from his cigar. But you're, um, you know, keep in mind, you know, you're surrounded by tomato fields, and um, you know, if you're standing like right in the middle of the, you know, of the, I guess the the road right there, with, with standing next to those two shops and and having that guy smoke his cigar. That's exactly what you're going to smell. Um, just an amazing blend. Uh, it's not too sweet. You know, it doesn't come across um, too green and too, you know, uh, leafy either. It just has this perfect, perfect blend, um, which is just absolutely amazing. You have that sweet green notes um, with some resins in there and then the soft, fresh leather. So that's basically what I get out of this one. Um, like I said, I you know, crazy, you know, scenario with everything, but I want you to like picture what you get because you, you do get some of that sweetness from the benzoin, uh, vanilla, you know, things like that. And then you also have some resins in there and you get this little hint of smoke, which is kind of a, it's very, very faint, but it, you can, you can smell it in there in the beginning. And then it's still, you know, surrounded by all those tomato, you know, like the fresh green tomatoes, not um, you know, not ripe by all means, just like the, the baby, you know, fresh tomatoes out there in the fields with a bunch of leaves. I mean, you're going to really get that throughout the, throughout the fragrance. Now the note breakdown is top notes are going to be tomato leaf, vanilla, and leather. Middle notes is labdanum, uh, clary sage, galbanum, tomato leaf, and orris root. Now notice you have tomato leaf in the top and in the middle. Base, you're going to get vanilla absolute, sandalwood, tolu balsam, Apopinex, myrrh, benzoin, leather, and musk. So again, you know, you got tomato leaves surrounding this one, you have vanilla, and you also have that leather. 
and that's where it comes in. You know, either you're, um, you know, you get, some people are going to get a lot of the leather from this. Some people are going to get a lot of tomato leaf and I kind of get a mixture of, of all of it together. And that's what makes it so nice because you do get the smoothness of the leather and that, and that sweetness, but it's not too sweet at all. So it's definitely not a gourmand. You know, you're going to get still some of that green freshness as well. Um, you know, the tomato leaf uh, lasts quite a while, but there's, you know, also those hints of that sweetness, you know, from, from the resins and that strong vanilla. Now, what is so nice about the great resins um, or, or get great resins is a, the, the little bit of that smoke and the great blend of the leather. So um, just a perfect, perfect blend and it's just so pleasant. Um, this will be great for like the fall and winter. Uh, definitely evening, um, you know, for like spring nights, summer nights. Um, I wore it today. It was about, you know, in like the low 70s and it, it worked really well for me. It's just a pleasant smell. You're not going to kill anybody by wearing it. Um, you know, not crazy compliments today. You know, one person said I smelled good. So it's probably not a, you know, a crazy compliment getter, but it will be at, at points too, you know, if people can really smell you. So, um, now, I purchased mine from Bergdorf Goodman, runs about $250 uh, for this one. And then I think they have a 200 mil, milliliter, too. I, I believe it's like $500. So I think there's a couple ones you can get. Um, also, um, projection, I would say two to three hours and a good arm length. I mean, it does project really well, and uh, and you will smell it, you know. Um, it does get close to the skin after about six to seven hours. Now, I've been wearing it today. I'm on my about 10th hour, and I can still smell it, but it's not, you know, crazy. It, it's pretty close to the skin, but performs really well. I mean, you cannot complain if a fragrance lasts you, you know, in between eight and 12 hours. So, excellent, um, you know, longevity, projection, I like. But again, it's not going to kill you, you know, or kill the person next to you when you're, you're standing near them, and it's not going to, you know, you know, he's, he's not going to be overwhelmed by the, by the smell either. Uh, I go to three to four sprays with this one. The sprays aren't too big and, uh, you know, three to my neck or one to my chest, two to my neck and, and one to the back of my neck. And, uh, but just an awesome, awesome fragrance. Again, this is, I mean, just, uh, um, definitely for, for men and women. And I think all ages, I mean, maybe not, you know, a, a teenager because it's a little, a little mature, but you know, I, I think definitely a college student could pull this one off, you know, and, um, you know, it, it, very unisex, a woman, this would smell really nice on a woman, um, cause you do get some of that, a little bit feminine dry down, but the beginning of it and, and the middle of it is, is really, you know, it leans a little bit towards the masculine too, because of that, you got some resins in there and, and things like that. So, but just an excellent fragrance. I love the presentation. Uh, the price isn't bad for what you get. Uh, you know, a few sprays is gonna gonna last you uh, quite a long long time. Um, now they also gave you this little postcard too, which is kind of cool. Gives you the notes, note breakdown, and then it actually sits on the box. Sorry, once you put the box together, it'll actually sit there and it kind of sticks to it. So, but um, very nice. I also have Shams Oud by Mimo Memo, um, Paris, and also there's gonna be some other ones in my future. I believe so. But thanks a lot for listening always and commenting and and I really, really enjoy you guys um, you know, helping me out with fragrances and, and joining my fragrance um, talk group uh, with Facebook. Really appreciate all you guys and it's been just so much fun and I'm really enjoying it. So more reviews to come and thanks again for everything.